Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Kaden Keon and we're gonna have another episode of Bro Tato. I'm excited. I have needed I've been wanting to get back to Bro Tato for a while, and I just haven't been able to. I did, however, streamer. <laughs> That's funny. I did, however, go through. I got a couple more of the uh, guys unlocked. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. I want to genuinely try and be a mage. Let's go mage. Let's see if we can get mage. I've been thinking about this and how I want to do this uh, for a little while in terms of my build this time. Ugh. And I think I've got an idea. So let's go attack speed. Taser, Lightning Shiv. I think we're going to go with what I want to call an uh, Electromancer. Which I'm sure is pretty much self-explanatory for anyone who's got a basic understanding of what RPG is. But for those who may not, we're going to try and go full electricity. So Tasers, Lightning Shivs. We're going to do two Lightning Shivs and four Tasers. We're going to boost our luck, and I think we're going to go into health recovery and see about that. I don't, I don't know about armor, but I want to try so armor and engineering. We'll take that. Luck, taser, lightning shiv. We almost got our full loadout already. How about that? Lock for another taser, and that would be our full loadout, so let's boogie. Then we just upgrade from there. And the reason I'm going with Electromancer is because I noticed with the Lightning Shiv, and I don't know about the Taser, but at least with the Lightning Shiv, whenever it attacks, it shoots out a lightning bolt that hits multiple enemies. I think the Taser does it too. I don't know if I've really noticed it. Yeah, I think the taser does it too. But you see, the, it go it's because it's shooting out the lightning bolt. So, let's for this one do the regeneration. And then we will do lifesteal. Grab the taser, the monkey, and the mutant. Reroll. Oh, I almost want to do the pruning, the pruner. Because that spawns a garden. No, I think we're fine. We won't do the pruner. I'm a six-armed electromage at me. I also, so even though I haven't played a whole lot recently, I did play a little bit a couple days ago, and the taser is better than I actually thought it was. Because the other thing it does as well is it lights things on fire. The, oh, that's what it is. The taser lights things on fire. The sh electro shiv electrocutes things, which is good for our mage because we've got a boost to the. Uh, let's go crit chance. We've got a boost to our elemental damage. Yeah, let's do the alien reroll. Do the boiling water. Lock the taser and the lightning shiv for an upgrade and lock the scared sausage because that's going to boost the taser. Because, yeah, so the taser is. So we're not exactly an electromancer. We're. Yeah. I, th I thought the taser did electric damage like the le lightning shiv, but I guess I. I guess I misread that, but that's fine. I mean, it, it, it's an electromancer in spirit because who 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 thinks taser and doesn't think electricity, right? All right, so let's 
<laughs> we got the weird monkey ears. That's funny. So the reason why we want to turn up luck is we want to get to the point where basically we're getting two free items every round. Ooh, boost our elemental damage. Yes. Regen, luck, taser, shiv, sausage, taser, combine, and I actually am going to go with the screwdriver. Okay, we're going to deviate. <laughs> we're going to deviate because the screwdriver puts down landmines, and landmines are crazy useful. Every match I've had landmines, I've been like, yes, thank God I've got those landmines. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the tree. We're actually not doing too bad. We could be doing worse, I gotta be honest. I say that though, and we're taking a whole lot of damage right there towards the end. Okay. Okay, so now, elemental damage. Okay, let's grab the wand, the eyes, the mouth, re-roll. Oh yeah, okay. Save that, save that, save that, and save the steroids. Okay, let's boogie. So I also, I did confirm that the landmines do not hurt you, but you can set them off. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that. We can set them off ourselves. They just don't hurt. They just don't hurt us. And this could pay off. It could not. I'm thinking we just basically ignore most other stats and just go into damage and health. I mean, it'll probably make us somewhat of a glass cannon, and if we get in trouble, we'll be screwed, but... Yeah, there we go. We're not, I mean, we're not doing too bad. Engineering, range, lifesteal, reroll. Melee, armor, health regeneration, oh, let's just do the regeneration. Do we have enough? Uh, we're gonna go into the negatives on the lifesteal, that's fine. All right, next wild round. We're not, yeah, see, we're not doing too bad. Oop, there's our item, that one of the items. I, I want to get to the point where our luck is pretty much, if not exactly, pretty much giving us two items per round. Either from the trees or from the weird gray goo things that we're fighting. I had stepped right on that landmine. Yep, let's come around the corner. I also learned too, I did not know this, there are, uh, I don't know what they're called, I call them couriers. There's like courier guys that run around and they've got if you kill them they drop loot the regeneration attack speed banner beanie reroll lightning shiv lock the medical turret and the energy bracelet and reroll lock the third lock that screwdriver and we'll just grab the book because there's no downside to not having the the extra engineering I don't remember if engineering affects the landmines or if explosion damage affects the landmines I don't remember but at the moment I'm not particularly worried about it, 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 it there was no downsides to having it so that's why I pretty much always grab things I try to grab things that leave that have no negatives. 
there's a couple items that are like that. The book is one of them. Because, yeah, maybe I don't need the engineering, but when I get the medical turret, the engineering, I think, helps that. And if I get any other placeable turrets, those will help us. It'll help those as well, which is never a bad thing. So that's the general gist of why I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Okay, we are not getting any items. We need to hopefully get our luck stat up. We got plenty of food, though, which is good. Beautiful. Luck. Uh, Reroll. I'll take the three elemental damage. Uh, let's merge the shivs, grab the screwdriver, the medical turret, and the bracelet. We don't want the sharp bullet. But we'll take the campfire and the weird ghost. Because even though that starts us down at one health, we got enough time before the enemies really show up that we can heal up some. And we just got to be careful at the start of each round. Yep, see, now we're back to... Oh, there's our medical turret. Turret. I always say turret for some... Or, or I want to say turret, but it's not. It's turret. Okay, here we go. Oh crap, I don't remember. Did I set- Oh! I might have accidentally set this to, uh, Endless. I, it just occurred to me. I, I, I was thinking I forgot something, and I think I might have accidentally left this on Endless. I played an Endless round a while ago. We leveled up twice, that's good. Well, if we reach round 20, we'll call that as a win. Uh, let's do attack speed. 15 luck. Um, boom. A horde will appear. Okay, so I guess we're fighting a horde now. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Oh, there's an item. Our luck stack is starting to work. Oh boy, yeah, this horde is starting to get a bit nuts. Keep moving, keep moving, keep lighting them on fire, shivin, 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 move it. Ooh, medical turret saved me. Okay. Okay, that got a bit dicey there. <laughs> that got just a touch dicey, but I think we, we're going to make it. Um, this is a flamethrower. Do we have anything we can combine? Or can we lock it? Well, let's lock it. <sighs> Dodge and harvest. Melee and range damage. Nah. Reroll. I'll take the scar. The tri triangle of power. The coupon. Save the sunglasses. And uh, we'll roll again. If we don't get anything good, we might replace the wand with the flamethrower. I think, functionally, they're the same thing. Damage-wise, it's just the flamethrower does more quicker. It's got a higher DPS than the wand. Especially at the same overall level. I think that's what that is. I'm not 100% sure, but... Come on, give me items. I want items. Is my luck stat just not high enough, or what? Uh, nope, there's an item. We got one level up and an item. That's good. Let's... I had my first round where I got... Uh, my luck stat was so high, I got four items in one wave. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
We're nowhere near that luck stat, though, so... We're gonna just have to keep trucking along as we are. 15 piercing damage, can't go above... Uh, yeah, fine, I'll take it. Um, attack speed. Let's reroll for some luck. Oh, but I don't know if I can pass on that 60 range. I can't. Gotta do it. Okay, so... Nine percent chance the range is lower. Forty six times five burning versus forty nine times four. This has got a sixty five percent chance of fire, while that one's only got a one percent. Actually, let's get rid of that second screwdriver and go with the flamethrower. Uh reroll. Lock the taser. There's our second there's another screwdriver, so we leveled up our screwdriver. Lock both of those, and go for 13, I guess. Now I look at me, I look like a unicorn. I'm a unicorn with sunglasses and a fire behind me. I'm what they call a badass unicorn. Cooler than the regular ones. A lot less sparkles, a lot more fire and blood. Plus a chance of... Plus a... A uh, 75% chance I'm just going to have some random disembodied leg stuck to my horn. <laughs> I wonder what item gives you that. Every item like mutates your character a little bit, and I wonder what, what item actually gave us that. I wasn't paying attention. It's like that little white horn thing. Okie dokie, so we got an item, which is good. We're kicking ass, which is double good. Lifesteal versus an element damage. Yeah, let's get that lifesteal back up a little bit. Oh, five engineering, two armor. No, let's roll for something better. Four, let's do the healing. I could have done uh, the other one, but no, let's save the schmoop for later. I don't like any of that. Save. Our screwdriver's full up. Screwdriver better than the wand? No. Is it better than electro shiv? Yeah, see, hitting an enemy spawns a lightning projectile that bounces three times. We won't save the lightning shiv, but we'll save that tonic. We're not doing too bad, actually. We could have been doing a whole lot worse. I did not succeed very well in my past attempts with the mage, so I'm surprised we've even gotten this far. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, and I think it helps, too, that I've also figured out a little bit better on how to balance my stats and what to lean towards. Whereas before, I was kind of doing it all, or trying to do it all. Now I kind of know, okay, I gotta... I gotta lean more towards one thing or the other. I haven't seen any courier things yet that drop... that are guaranteed to drop an item if you kill them. That's interesting. Usually there's at least one by now. Yes, we'll take Vigilante. Luck. Turn that up. Oh yeah, more luck. I'll take the loss of life steal. That's for sure. Let's do this! I got a clover! So the thing with luck that I really... that uh, I have seen really helps is basically if your luck stat gets high enough, you're, you're just going to be handed item after item after item over the course of the, of the round. There was I saw one guy play I was kind of curious I watched uh, it wasn't spiffing bread. I forget who it was but they, they, they basically tried to go as hard into luck as they could and then, I mean they were finishing the round with 10 items given to them which is essentially just for free you know and then they can buy more items with the materials they pick up 
There's two items. Haha. -ha. Maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, my luck. Oop, three items. Right on. Now we're talking. I don't like this blood donation. I don't like it. I, I don't. I just don't. Dodge. And harvesting. Nah. Yeah, I'll take that. So one thing I think we're going to do, I'll turn our luck up there, is we need to try and get something that gives us a bit of a boost to our... Uh, Our speed. Our speed is taking a hit. Tentacle. Three crit chance, 20% to heal one HP when killing an enemy with a critical hit. Yes. Lock the taser. And lock the black belt. Go for wave 16. See, we're doing actually a decent amount of damage. I'm kind of surprised at how much we're actually doing. I try to be a little bit... I'm, I want to try and be a little further along in my weapon upgrades by this point, but we're not doing too bad. Alrighty, let's... towards the tree here. Nope, no item. Come on, look. Start start working for me here. I need some items. I need some items. I'm not in bad shape, but I need more items. Burning spread, yes. Take that snake. Okay, more regeneration dodge. We need some speed. Let's get some speed. Reroll. There we go. 9%. We'll take it. Uh, what's our level here? 2. Let's recycle that. Grab the taser. Grab the black belt. More luck for less damage. Okay. We'll do that. Reroll. Save the alien eyes. Save the adrenaline. Because that's always good. Uh, save the screwdriver. Because we can replace that wand with that screwdriver. Okay, let's roll for 17. Now we're doing good. Now we're kicking some serious butt. Our regeneration is really high. We've got enough. I'll have to look at my sig. Oh, no! Oh, wow! Did we just get destroyed? What got us? Oh, my gosh. What got us? I don't even know what killed us. We had a 125 on our experience gain. Alright, let's try something a little bit different. I've been wanting to try this for a while. Let's do an engineer build. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, hang on a minute. Main menu, yes. Start. Engineer. Wrench. Not endless. Level 2. Okay. Alright, trying again. This time, Engineer. Man, we got completely just shrecked by whatever that was I ran face first into. Oh, don't do that. I gotta remember, an Engineer is a little bit different because they... Okay, luck. Yes, please. Wrench. Taser for now, so we've got that extra weapon. Save the alien worm, we don't want the bat. Lock the wrench, lock the weird ghost. And go. So with the engineer, we want wrenches and screwdrivers. Seems to make sense, you know, engineer, wrenches, screwdrivers. Yes, 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 yes. We want wrenches and screwdrivers. I'm thinking four wrenches for four turrets. And two screwdrivers for two individual landmines spawning. Per whatever the timing is. Yes, we'll take the attack speed. Um, 
B-roll. Luck. We'll do the luck. Wrench. Ghost. Alien worm. Locked. Reroll. Wrench level two. Locked. And double barrel shotgun. Lock it for now, because we might grab it as an extra weapon to have until we find our screwdrivers. Apparently there's an achievement as well for like, I think it's recycle 12 weapons in the, in one wave or, or one round or something like, or one play game or what, I don't know. It's recycle a certain number of weapons. I'm not too sure about that. I mean, I can do it, but it'd be frustrating. You'd have to do it early game. Luck. <sighs> Let's do the damage. Get our damage back up. Grab that scar. Alien worm. Reroll. Lock the coffee. Reroll. 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 Nope. Okay. This early wave, luckily, it doesn't matter too much that we're not kind of getting the weapons we need. We'll need them come... Um... Closer, I think, to, like, wave 10. Oop, an item. Good, good, good. Right now, we want to focus on luck and... Kind of getting a little bit of our skills balanced out to get ready for actually setting up for what we need. Because, the unfortunately, the engineer is very uh, melee heavy, especially the way I like to play it. Pocket Factory for free. Yes. No, no argument. Yes. Let's grab um, that range. Holy cow. Oh, I didn't mean to buy the clover. Oh, well. That means every tree we break now spawns another turret. This is where the engineer class... I was noticing this when I found the pocket factory. I think this is where the engineer class will become absolute cheese. So let's see here. I, th I think... The pocket factory is kind of hard to find, too. It, it, I don't know if it's just me or... I've got bad luck, but it seems like it takes either forever to spawn in the thing, and this is the first time I've ever gotten it as an item for free. But it seems to take forever to spawn in the store, and then it's super expensive. So... Honestly, this is all kind of trash, but we'll take the dodge. The luck. Okay, now this time we want the wrench. I'm gonna combine to make two level twos, grab the shotgun, the coffee, lock the blindfold, re-roll. Yes! Lock the wings and the double barrel shotgun. Oh yeah, now we're talking. So as you upgrade the wrenches, your turrets upgrade. Uh, they go from little rinky-dink standards to incendiary. Um, from incendiary, incendiary, they go to... I think it's laser, and then it's... No, it's not laser. It's something else. Then it's laser, then it's explosive. Oh yeah. Another turret. We gotta start being kind of careful, though. We're getting to the point now where we can really get completely swamped. Woo! Okay. Oh, yeah! Another turret. That's what we want. Let's go crit chance. Uh, we'll grab the wings. Those are gonna be good. Speed, range, yeah. And then the double barrel shotgun. Ooh, okay. So we're actually, even though we don't have any screwdrivers, which I still want to get, we're in better shape than, uh, we're in better shape than, than, we could be in way worse shape. Let's just put it that way. We could be way off, way worse off. We still need to be careful, though. We're kind of vulnerable. We don't have a whole lot of armor or dodge, but we're getting there. There's another turret on the field. We need the, the next, the next thing we need to find... Our next item we need, if we can get it, is uh, more trees. Because the more trees we can get, then we're going to start just absolutely laying down turrets and have them... There'll be nowhere on the map these creatures will be without taking damage of some kind. 
Yes, three items. Let's see, more trees. There's that luck stat. Take that, more trees. Harvesting. Uh, sh yeah, that's not going to hurt us to have. Melee damage, yes. How's our range doing? 30? Okay. Crit chance. Our engineering is a little low, but we'll take the crit chance for now. Luck. Armor and dodge. Yes, please. Give me that. Weird ghost and blindfold. Alien baby. We'll pass on the alien baby. The tentacle we want to save and the mastery we want to save. Because ranged is not going to be our main thing. Let's go ahead and upgrade this wrench so we've got three incendiaries. Well, we're going to have four, actually, because we got the item that also spawns one in. Oh, wow. Well, yep, see, there we go. Got crushed. All right, well, thank you all for watching. I've been Katie and Keon. This has been another episode of Brotato. I think we're going to try the engineer next time again. I think that's something that we can get going good.